Hello, fourth graders. We are looking today at lesson 80. And in lesson 80, we're talking about division with zeros in the quotient. Now remember, a quotient is the answer to a division problem. And so we're gonna take a look at what that looks like today. So we're gonna do that same process. I'm gonna write it over here. Dad, mom, sis, bro, and Rover, okay? And bro always has to talk to dad. All right, and then if there's no bro, sister plays with the dog. So if no bro, and we'll leave it at that so that we have the process over to the side. Okay, so the first thing is dad or divide. So we're gonna divide and we look and we say, well, you can't just do one because I can't get any fours out of one at the beginning only, not in the middle, but just at the beginning. So then we take that other buddy along. So now we have 14. How many fours can we get out of 14? Well, we know that we can get three out of 14. So we do three times four. That's mom, the mom, remember? Dad's the only one on a roof. So that's our divide. Roof times the door ends up on the floor. So three times four is 12. That's our mom. And then sister subtract 14 minus 12 is two. Then that's our sister. We've done our sister here. Now we bring down, bring down the brother, one brother at a time, brother's in town, so bring him on down. There he is, okay? Now we divide by four again. How many fours, because he's going to talk to dad. How many fours can we get out of 27? We could get what? That's hopefully you said six. And remember that I, my number goes right above the brother. All right, so six times four is 24. That's the mom part, sister subtract. We have three. Now we have another brother in town, so we bring him on down. How many fours can we get out of 32? Eight, that goes above that two. That's the dad part. Mom multiply, roof times the door, ends up on the floor. There's our floor, sister subtract. We have zero left over. No more brothers in town, so rover left over, and we have zero left over, okay? That's that basic process. Now, I did one without the zero involved just to go over what we would normally see, what we've already seen in our, in our assignments and in our work that we've done. But now let's take a look at one where we do end up having some type of zero involved, okay? So let's take a look here and we'll do a different color so it doesn't run into the other one. Let's do 618 divided by three. All right, 618 divided by three. So still using the same process as up here. How many threes can we get out of six? We can get two, so dad goes on the roof. Mom, multiply. Roof times the door, ends up on the floor. Sister, subtract, there's our floor. Six minus six is zero. Brother in town, bring him on down. Now dad, he goes up to dad again. This is where we go. How many threes can we get out of one? How many threes can we get out of one? Absolutely none, so that goes on the roof. We still have to keep that there. It's important to put that number up on top. Then we do mom. Roof times the door ends up on the floor. Sister subtract, we have one. Another brother in town, so we bring him on down. Now he goes back up to dad. How many threes can we get out of 18? Six, remember dad's the only one around on the roof and it goes right above the brother you brought on down. Six times three is 18. Sister subtract, we have zero left over. We can check our answer. 206 times three. Three times six is 18, carry my one. Three times zero is zero, plus one more is one. Three times two is six, 618. It should match what's in there. And if I had a remainder, I add that remainder onto the bottom there. Add in the remainders and you have your answer. So that's, um, that's what it looks like to have a problem with the, um, the zero in the answer. Um, 
what if you have a bunch of zeros on your on your question? What if you have something like, let's erase this one here and we'll uh, give a different example because you can always go back and look at it again. What if I have an 8,000 pound 8,000 pounds of elephant food and I have to feed him um, let's say I have to feed him four times a day and I want to know how many days is that 8,000 pounds of elephant food going to last me if I feed him four times a day so I have to divide it into those four times a day so then I start with my how many fours can I get out of eight I can get two goes on the roof two times four is eight sister subtract I have zero now in this situation we have nothing left but zeros and we have a zero here so what I can do is if I have zero left and there's nothing but zeros left over here I can take those zeros and put it up on top and that's my comma there it looks like a okay so 2000 would be my answer but if I'm wanting to make sure that I have the answer right I could also continue on with the process all right so I'm going to continue on with the process so let's say a brother in town bring him on down how many fours can we get out of zero 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 times four is zero sister subtract brother in town bring him on down again zero multiply it out subtract bring the other zero down how many fours can we get out of zero? Zero. Zero times four is zero and you see you're going to get that same answer but if you have the first two numbers or the first number whatever and all the rest are zeros and you have it equals zero when you sister subtract then you can just put those zeros up top okay so another option another idea like that if I have eighteen thousand <coughs> excuse me divided by three how many threes do I get out of eighteen six six times three is eighteen sister subtract zero I have that zero here all that's left over here are zeros so put them on up right above the brothers zero 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 and we get six thousand okay that's the only time we can just kind of push them right up there all right is when we have the same no amount of zeros there at the end otherwise we want to do it just like I showed you before okay the mom dad sister brother rover okay no uh, no other parts with that um, today's lesson you have a worksheet that is a division worksheet um, and so just do those division problems show your work make sure you're showing your work and um, hopefully it'll all go well